What's up, everybody? I hope you're all doing well. It's your girl, Lydia Simba, again. And I am coming to you live from Kobinata's village. So today I just want to uh, tour her village and familiarize myself with the new environment. So currently I am standing in a Mira plantation. Mira is commonly known as Kat. So my people, this is Mira, okay? And I guess this part here is what is harvested for eating. Show you around the cut plantation. This is how it looks like. Actually, you see this? This is what is harvested for eating. This one. And these, these ones are just sprouting. These are sprouting. And this. So my people, you can place your orders. This is what is harvested for eating. Yeah. So the cut or mira tree looks like this. So from the stem going up. Remember I've told you this is what is harvested for eating, for chewing this. All this is the plantation. Although in the Kura area, uh, we don't have much. We don't have much of... I was saying that this area, we don't have much of uh, Mira. But we try to. So we just tour the farm a bit. Mommy, wait for me there. Let's do at the farm. So these are bananas. And guess what? This is a popo. This particular tree actually has a ripe one. Can I talk to the neighbors? Because I, I think I need it for the baby. Okay. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so let's continue with the tour of the village. So guys, all that is Mira. What are fallen? So guys, this is getting interesting. This tall tree is actually tamarind tree. Let's see whether I'll be able to get tamarind. I show you what we are talking about. We have actually fallen down. This is what we are talking about. This is tamarind. Guys, 
This is tamarind. And this is the tamarind tree. It's quite huge. It's quite, quite huge. And here in the village, we are getting all these for free. Mm -hmm. All this is tamarind. What do you guys don't eat? Huh? You don't eat the tamarind? We eat. Because from the look of things here, <laughs> we eat. These ones are fallen and they've all gone bad. Let's eat. Wait for me, baby. Wait, wait. Mm -mm. Hmm? Mm -mm. Mm. 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 So my people, this is tamarind. This and mm -hmm. that. This is what you eat. <laughs> you see, the thing about village life, you collect stuff and straight to your mouth. See, like this one, I'm gonna eat and I won't get sick, my people. This one has a bit of sun. I won't eat that one. But even if I were to eat, nothing bad would happen to me. So, this is what you eat. Mmm. And it is very... So all these I'm getting for free. So guys, you can place your orders. Let's continue touring the village. Come baby. And leave them here. Mm. I shall come to come and collect. And collect. So this is a mango tree. Currently, um, it's not the season for mangoes, but as you can see, it's flowering. Come closer. So it's flowering because it's not yet season. So probably in uh, in Feb is when we shall start having mangoes around here. Oh. I've also seen something else that maybe would interest you. This stem. This is for yams. So yams grow from here. Down there. If you dig the root. Is what we call the yam. Remember. This shell. Is for tamarind. So a yam. Attaches itself to a tree. Like that, that is what you're seeing. You see the far hand over there? Let me zoom in. That green <coughs> plantation over there, that one, all that is yams. Remember I told you, a yam is a stem and it attaches itself to a tree like that. So those green leaves, those ones are for, for stems, for yams, sorry. Now a yam also can make a very good uh, fence. Look at this. 
this fence like this this one is for yam it, it is attaching itself to the to a live fence so guys we are just walking around so, with Kobenata. <laughs> so, Kobenata, tell them where you're taking me. Yeah, we are just touring the village. Yeah, this is the place where I was born. And guys, uh, you know, the weather from the village is very fresh. Uh -huh. The hair here is fresh, fresh air. So we are twirling, I want to show her around. Yeah, and so guys, let me say thank you, thank you so much for appearing at Lydia's channel. Today is a new, new day. We are by, I'm so happy because she came to visit me. And now I want to show her around my village. So we are entering to my neighbors. Our neighbors, actually yeah. guys, the reason we are coming to this particular neighbor is because I'm with my daughter. And we, wa we want to see whether we can get some other young kids here so that they can play with her. She's, I think she's getting bored mm -hmm. and we need to look for some playmates. Mm -hmm. But today being a school going day, mm -hmm. I don't know whether we'll be able. We'll be able. So this is the neighbors. Mm -hmm. I think I'll switch off the camera. Mm -hmm. Guys, the mission has aborted here. Unfortunately, all the kids are in school. So my little one doesn't have anybody to play with. So he shall be touring the village with her. Be carry her. Mm. Sing a sprinkler on this farm. Let's go and see what they are trying to farm. <coughs> Remember, it's the dry season here. So guys are preparing the farms for planting. Yeah. Remember I told you this is the cut or the so-called mirror. So this is a flower, not a flower bend. This is a nursery for, did they say tobacco? Yeah, so all this is a nursery for tobacco. The process of planting tobacco, you begin with uh, planting the seedlings in a nursery bend, like you can see here. And then once they grow to a certain length, you transplant them to the main farm, probably down there. But in the meantime, this is the gen the initial stage of planting the tobaccos. Guys, if you don't know tobaccos, I once did a video showing you a tobacco farm. You can check through my videos, you'll see where I was showing you tobaccos. Yeah. So guys, I've just seen a beehive. It's mounted in that tamarind tree. Now let me move closer so that you can see it. <coughs> there are so many indigenous trees over here. 
this particular one is what I've showed you at uh, Kobenata's home. This one is a tamarind tree. And in here, you see that? That one is a beehive. So in a couple of months, they shall be harvesting honey. Yep, that's one. Over there. There. The beehive. It's mounted in a tamarind tree. This particular one, it's, I think it, does, it has not yet started uh, producing the tamarind. It's still a virgin tree. But if you see them mounting a, a beehive here, it means that this tree will be flowering soon. Because remember, honey comes from nectar. And nectar is gotten from flowers by the bees. So this particular honey, the bees will collect all the nectar from this whole farm, all these. There are so many trees that the, the bee can collect the nectar from. from that's an avocado tree over there, that big tree. That is a mango tree. There's so many mango trees and avocado trees that the, the, the bees can collect the nectar from. This one is a cassava tree. And for those of, of you that don't know, cassava is usually a root that comes from this particular plant. Okay, we continue with the village tour. And in this particular village, you find cut in all corners, like this particular farm here now. This section of the farm is a lot of cut. Even this, this is cut. Remember I told you? This is what is harvested for chewing, this. It's yet to grow to maturity. And see this magic of this tree is a shrinking tree, shrinking plant. When you touch it, it shrinks. It's called, I think, mimosa, something else, mimosa podica. That is the scientific name of the shrinking tree. Let's continue with the tour. Over here, guys, we've come across cocoa. So this is a cocoa tree. It's actually not a tree. How do you call such kind of plants that attaches themselves to the main tree? This is the cocoa. When it's ready, it dries up like this. Ebu, hold the camera for me. I see if I can be able to, to bring it closer. Oh. So when the cocoa is ready for harvesting, it dries up like this. So all this is cocoa. Let me show you just one. Okay, it's so hard. On a branding seeds. So this is a seed, the, the cocoa seed. 
this is what is uh, grinded to give us the cocoa. It looks like the the black bean. Mm. Yeah. And this is how it grows, guys. Like this. Then you cook tea. You You drink. You prepare the cocoa. Drinking cocoa. There is a mango tree. This one is flowering. You can see the flowers. So the bees will have an easy time getting the nectar from these flowers <laughs> and many other that are in this farm. <laughs> That is is kumbe. What do you call kumbe in English? Cowpies. Cowpies. Mm. Yeah. It looks grows like this. It's cowpies. Mm -hmm. And uh the leaves are taken as veggies. It also produces uh cereals that are very delicious. This is the stem of a cassava, not ca yeah, mm -hmm. cassava, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the stem of a cassava looks like this. This is sugarcane. There are different species of, of sugarcane. I wouldn't know which species is this, but uh, this is a type of sugarcane. Remember that is a banana. And these guys, you see this? This is what produces the black castor oil. Mbariki. Mm. This produces the black castor oil. As we continue touring the farm, maybe we'll see one that has produced uh, seedlings. And we'll be able to show you. Yeah, so this is uh, cassava. This is a green step actually. Maybe the stem is like this. This one is overgrown. Let's show them the sweet potato. This stem here, this one, is what produces sweet potato. I know some of you don't know these things, but to others it is obvious. So this particular video is meant to educate the people that don't know about farm life. So this one is what produces the sweet potatoes. Down there, the, the, the root grows to produce the sweet potatoes. That one is a full grown banana. This one is ready for harvesting. You can either cook it or leave it to... Can be cooked or leave it to, to ripen. And it produces very, very sweet bananas. Just like this. It will produce very sweet bananas. That is Kobenata. Carrying my little one. This is how we carry babies here in the village. What is this? Hola. Guys, have a look at these. These are actually beans. For, for making bring, bring. <laughs> necklace, traditional necklaces, mm. and they grow mm -hmm. from this from this tree here. So the seedlings, these ones, these, when they dry, they give us these beads for making traditional. <laughs> necklaces and they're very expensive you guys so from this 
Wow, this is interesting. See? See? <laughs> Let me test. I confirm whether it's ready. After a long day of touring the village, it's now time for me to sit down and refresh with a cup of tamarind juice. If you would like to know how tamarind juice is made, I request you to stay tuned for my next video where I will be showing you step-by-step -step ways of preparing the tamarind juice. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for having been, been my guest, for watching this video to this very far end. Thank you. I cannot take it for granted. Stay tuned for the next video. The Village series continues. This juice slaps differently especially in these hot weather. This is a must-have every time I visit the village, not mentioning the health benefit that the tamarind juice uh, carries. My special appreciation goes to Kobenata and her family for hosting me in their home. They are very hospitable, kind, and they've made my stay here feel very, very comfortable. Kindly go check out Kobenata on her YouTube channel and show her some love as a kind gesture of her kindness that she has extended to me and my little one. Ciao.